Welcome to Pi and Squaring the Circle Part 3. In this last session we are going to put the cherry on top of the cake. We show you how to square any given circle using a straight edge and compass. Squaring a given circle. We now proceed to construct a square with the same surface area as any given circle using an unmarked straight edge and compass. Step 1. Draw any circle with diameter OAB. Step 2. Subdivide AB into 14 equal parts. Our second step is to subdivide AB into 14 equal parts. This can be done by drawing a diagonal line from A and marking off 14 segments to L. Next we connect the end of this line L with B. Finally, we draw two parallel lines from the diagonal to the diameter, one on each end of the diameter. This will take us to our next step. Our third step is to mark off CD 12 units on the diameter of the circle. Step 4. From C, draw a line perpendicular to AB. The fourth step is to draw a line CE perpendicular to AB. Step 5. Next, we mark off CE3 units and connect ED. The last step is to draw a square DEFG using ED as the base of our square. We have squared the circle O so that the surface area of circle O is equal to the surface area of square DEFG. Confirmation. Calculate the surface area of square DEFG using the Pythagorean theorem. CD squared plus 1 plus CE squared plus 1 is ED squared plus 1. Substituting 144 plus 1 plus 9 plus 1 is 154 plus 1 which is 155. Apply pi to calculate the area of circle AOB. D squared times pi plus 1. Substituting 14 squared times 11 over 14 plus 1 equals 154 plus 1 which is 155. We have managed to do that which the mathematicians say is impossible. Go in peace and spread the good news.